Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing yet another horror haul. I've mixed in some other stuff that I picked up as always, but I have separated these by boutiques and then we've got some of your regular labeled stuff at the very end. I've got my steelbooks together, so let's dive right in. This is from like late November, December, and some of January. So I just kind of wanted to do this before we get into all of the other January stuff, like the Vinegar Syndrome subscription stuff, and then the stuff that's gonna come in the beginning of February. Let's get right to it with my Screen Factory stuff. If I did a review for this, I will try and link the card, but as I do a lot of reviews, they will only let me do so many cards. So as always, I will link my entire 4K playlist and Blu-ray review list at the very end. If you like what we do here, consider subscribing to the channel, and you can follow everything that I do going forward. We've got a lot coming in January slash February. Let's get right into it. Okay, so first we've got Thinner, which is the most recent release. I did do a review of this. It's on the channel. I think I did it last week, so definitely check that out. This did come out previously from Olive, but this has a ton of new special features, so check out that video to see if this is worth picking up. The next thing is going to be the Dead Zone. This is a 4K from Scream Factory. Again, review on the channel. Check that out. All right, next we got Tales from the Dark Side. Again, from Scream Factory. Then I've got probably my favorite thing from last, one of my favorite things from last year, just because it was such a surprise for me <laughs> that it was so good. And that's going to be the 4K release of Silver Bullet, which actually kind of really surprised me there at how good it was. So definitely check that review out because I go in more in depth about like how good it actually was. All right, let's get into the Vinegar Syndrome, my personal favorite boutique. We've got Fatal Games. Now, if you did get these after the pre-order of the Black Friday sale, then you should be getting these soon. I believe they release like the 30th of January, but anybody who got these on the pre-Black Friday sale, you should have already gotten yours. So there's Fatal Games, great, great movie. They did a fantastic job restoring this. Then we've got The Black Room, which I had actually never seen this movie and I watched it and I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. So I do wanna do maybe like a full review on this one later on, but we'll see how things go. All right, the next thing I picked up from Vinegar Syndrome is Dark Tower. So I've actually never seen this and I haven't opened it yet. So uh, I'm curious to kind of jump into this and see what it's all about. All right, now my favorite thing that Vinegar Syndrome did last year was the Prophecy Trilogy. I do have a full unboxing video and review video, so definitely check that out if you're interested to see how this looks and how it turned out on 4K. All right, we got a couple weird ones coming up next with Pathogen, which I have not opened up yet, uh, so I'm looking forward to kind of <laughs> seeing what this is all about. I picked up that second hand. It was like not open, so I'm curious to see what it was. All right, and then we've got Patrick Still Lives, which is like a pseudo sequel to Patrick. So if you've never seen Patrick, it's a weird movie. This is this is a weird movie also. So I don't know. My disc is roaming around in here. I'm gonna have to fix that after this. All right, the next stuff we've got is gonna be from Arrow. And I picked up this second hand and it is Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. So this is super cool that I was able to find this like in its original packaging. I had seen it before just in like your standard case, but I wanted to get it in this. So great to kind of pick that up. Now I'm very late to the Arrow like video stuff. I've always appreciated their stuff, but as I like super weird movies, they were not always on my radar as far as a collector. So I have started to kind of, as stuff comes out that I'm super interested, especially if it's like horror related, picking that stuff up and then kind of going back every so often, maybe once every couple months and picking up something that I didn't own already. So the next thing is obviously the big thing for me personally from Arrow last year and that was the Hellraiser set on 4K. I did recently actually do this box set unboxing and review. I know I was a little late to the party, but I actually got it a little late because I had pre-ordered it and something happened in shipping and I didn't get it and I had to order it a couple times from a couple different places to get this. I know they are releasing like a cheaper set, I think in February, so I do go over that in the video, so definitely check that out. All right, the next ones are just some like ones I picked up uh, from Black Friday and I got the Meg 2. I didn't pick up the uh, steel book because I'm not paying $40 for the Meg 2. It's just, it's just not happening. It's a fun movie, but it's a dumb movie. And then I finally picked up Prey, 
It was on sale for like twenty four instead of like the outrageous thirty five dollars they wanted for this movie. Disney sometimes it's just like, hey, we finally did the thing. We put the Hulu movie on four K. It's gonna be thirty five dollars, which is ridiculous. But anyway. Picked it up on sale, which is what I recommend, unless you're like a huge fan of that movie, which I enjoyed that movie. Surprisingly enough, that was like the third review I think I ever did on this channel. Like, so if you can imagine, don't go back and watch that. It's, it's bad. Don't watch it. But uh, anyway, it's there. And then I picked up the Young Guns Steelbook from uh, Lionsgate. I love all their stuff. This one's actually super cool, so I'm going to take a minute and open this so I can show you because I'm not going to do a video on it, so I guess I'll show it off here. There's the inside. This actually has these really cool, like, wanted cards. So this is super cool. I really like that. Lionsgate just goes above and beyond with their releases and especially their steel books. So I did pick up one steel book, two steel books that are a little older, and then one newer steel book. So that'll kind of wrap up our stuff here. But the next one is I finally picked up the My Buddy Valentine's Scream Factory release. Now, I do own the 4K of the movie, but I really do like their steelbooks from that era of Scream Factory. And as of note, the one thing that I did praise about the thinner Blu-ray is that it was very reminiscent of old Scream Factory other than the packaging. The packaging was cheap plastic, but other than that, it felt like these felt back in the day. So that was kind of a cool thing. So I'm trying to like slowly go back and get these steelbooks because I really do like them. Obviously, I'm going to watch the 4Ks, but I kind of just want to add these to the collection. Next, I picked this one up on sale and Best Buy seems to be doing this as of late as they're going to be getting out of the physical media. <laughs> you know, wholesale thing. And I've been going to my Best Buy every so often and they're just slowly randomly putting out like old steel books, old movies and stuff like that. They had like the Fast 9 steel book. They had a ton of steel books there, which was very weird. The Beauty and the Beast like remake was there. And then, so I got the Sonic ones. I, you know, these movies are fun for what they are. I really just like the second one because it's very reminiscent of the Genesis cover. So I, I just had to get these. They were on sale for like 25, I believe. And so I th I've seen other reports that these are still $40. I don't know why they were so cheap at mine, but anyway, I picked them up for $25. So I couldn't pass that up. So I wanted to add that to the collection. And then last but not least was a new release. And that was Point Break on 4K Steelbook. This is an amazing Steelbook. It's an incredible, it's a great movie. And, you know, even rewatching it, I hadn't seen it in a long time, you know, and I am a lover of the original Fast and Furious. It's just, it's not even a guilty pleasure. I love that movie, like unabashedly, I love that movie. And so watching this, you realize you're like, oh yeah, I forgot how much Fast and Furious is point break, you know, and you just realize it and you're just like, but I will say, there are some things that I like that Fast and Furious does. There are some things that I like that uh, Point Break does. I think Point Break runs with a lot of ideas, but I think Fast and Furious kind of took those ideas and then ran a little bit more with them in some cases, in some instances, along with like the family stuff. And there are a lot more interactions with your core group. But, you know, from the scene in like the little beach diner that like Brian and Dom have and then Patrick Swayze and Keanu have, it's very reminiscent of that movie, but Point Break is a great goddamn movie. So definitely check that out. The Steelbook is incredible. It looks incredible. It sounds incredible. I That's all I got, man. That's what I picked up the last couple months. So let me know down below. What did you guys put up? What was your favorite thing that I got from this collection? We've got a lot of videos coming. We recently crossed the threshold of a thousand subscribers. So that's awesome. So thank you all of you who have been here from the beginning or you're just new here. Definitely, you know, stick around. We've got a lot to do. Again, I'll be receiving my vinegar syndrome subscriber box i think on monday um depending on when this video comes out uh, on the 29th so i'm gonna dive into that probably do a new boxing since i am going to be a subscriber this year i'm going to be doing a unboxing every month and then maybe select reviews depending on what titles i feel deserve like singular videos but definitely look forward to that video every month where I'll be unboxing that subscriber box and then whatever else I decide to get as you do get like a subscriber discount on everything. So I know I've got Southern Comfort coming and then I know I've got that Freeway 1 and 2 like hard shell case coming. I've got a lot of stuff coming and then they also have a new line, uh, Vinegar Syndrome does and I'm going to be covering that um, probably in depth. I don't know if I'm going to get both titles. I've already gotten one of them pre-ordered so I don't know if I'm going to get both titles because 
that was a lot for me to spend in January. So I kind of want to get through that. I know it'll probably still be available. So I'll probably get it maybe in February. And then I will be covering Conan, um, the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer whenever I get my, um, like double set. So look forward to that sometime in February. All right. That's pretty much all I've got. Thanks for coming by and watching my horror haul and my other physical media haul. We've got a lot going on the channel. And so thanks for sticking around. If you like what we do here, consider becoming part of the collective. I'm going to link some videos for you at the end as always. And I'll talk to you guys in my next review.